My family is a potter, including my great grandfather, Kanjiro Kawai. For that reason, I watched people who had been engaged in manufacturing from an early age and naturally learned the spirit of the Japanese people who seriously faced it. It goes without saying that the family environment in which I grew up had a great influence on me at that time. What made me a carpenter was a house designed by my great-grandfather Kanjiro Kawai. Despite the furnishing collected in the house from many different countries and looked uh, and looked very harmonious and looked like uh, like just him. As a child, I still remember that I wanted to create such a space by myself. I went to a department of architecture at the university to become a carpenter. At that time, it was still that experience value was the important things for carpenters. And the general idea was that if you had time to study uh, architecture at university, you should start training as soon as possible. However, since I was I mean to be a new carpenter who supports the Japanese construction industry. I decided to study architecture as an academic subject. When I was asked about the future dreams during an interview when I entered university, I want to be a carpenter in the future, replied. The university professors said, You are wrong where you come. I will never forget that I was shocked. I studied architecture at university for four years. And after graduating, I entered a vocational school and learned basic skills as a carpenter. In Miyamacho, Kyoto known as Kayabuki no Sato, I started a carpenter's apprenticeship to protect the original scenery of good old Japan. My workshop was a construction company that specializes in the renovation of old Japanese houses. But the business management didn't go well. And I will go bankrupt seven years after joining the company. The salary during this period was 100,000 yen a month. I wasn't satisfied with my salary, but every day I had a new experience as a carpenter. Couldn't be exchanged for money, and I never wanted to quit the company. Rather than that, I wanted to recover this company and believed that I would make the building industry more exciting, and I was doing my best. I greedily absorbed my carpenter skills from my seniors. And while working here, I got a second grade architect and a first grade carpentry technician. I have been able to think and communicate the carpenter's technology theoretically. 
as well as from my own experience. At the age of 27, I married a woman who was my friend from university. I don't remember at all, but I told her three dreams I want to fulfill before I die. First, salary is low, but I want to continue training for 10 years at the current company. Second, I want to build a shrine or temple. Third, I want to live in France. As I can say now, if you want to make your dreams come true, please tell someone. People will always be there to support your dreams, and your dreams will become a reality. In my case, I had not shared my dreams with her. The dreams have been a dream. My life may have moved to a well-paid construction company. I might not have moved to rebuild Isejing. Having shared my dream with her, I was able to make the best choice. I also decided to go to France in 2021 by her push. I am truly grateful to my wife and my children who can make their dreams come true together. The workshop I was working for went bankrupt and I became independent. Shortly thereafter, I had the opportunity to participate in Ise Shrine rebuilding project. Ise Jingu seems to be looking for carpenters for the Shikinen Sengu. The person who taught me this story was a such a craftsman who remembered that I casually said, I want to work on a shrine someday. You can see that it's very important to talk about dreams and increase the number of supporters. Ise Jingu is considered to be the most sacred shrine in Japan and is rebuilt every 20 years in a ceremony called Shikinen Sengu. It's a perfect environment with the best materials and plenty of time to process. So I can never make excuse that I couldn't do it because I didn't have time or I couldn't finish it because the materials were bad. The finish depends on the skill of our craftsmen. The first carpentry work at Jingu was to show my true ability. I couldn't do it at first, so I felt embarrassed and frustrated. But the four years at Ise Jingu were pure fun and fulfilling times. After finishing my work at Jingu, I returned to Kyoto and resumed my activities as a carpenter. But there was almost no work. Although I want to use this technique I gained from my experience at Ise Jingu, for many people. There are few people in Japan who want to, want to hire artisans at high prices to build a house. Then, how can we express this knowledge 
and technology to please many people. At that time, I was spending all that time thinking. I think it was a desperate period to find your worth. At one point, I remembered the excitement, joy, and satisfaction of learning at Isjingu, and decided to teach it to those who wanted this technique. I took the plank and adapted a disciple. While working with him, I found myself enjoying the joy of sharing carpentry skills. In addition, taking advantage of his fluency in English, he will have the opportunity to share Japanese woodworking with people around the world. February 2018, Kickstarter campaign started to hold a Japanese woodworking class that can be learned in English. With the support of more than 200 people from many different countries around the world, we built a woodworking class in Kyoto, Japan. This building incorporates 10 types of joinery, making it possible to enjoy Japanese woodworking in a realistic way. Joinery was used in many places where I could see it because I wanted you to pay attention to not only functionally but also design. In addition, I made a model on 1 slash 5 scale so that you can learn where and which joinery you are using. When you visit Suikosha, please take it apart and enjoy it. We look forward to sharing the best woodworking with you, which we create together with Japanese woodworking firms around the world. Hello, this is Takami of Suikosha. I am a Japanese carpenter. I have a Japanese woodworking school where you can learn in English. I accept four students each month. So beginners and professionals alike can take classes according to your skill level. Don't worry. Uh, check the overview for more information and please subscribe to the channel. Let's enjoy woodworking together.